Welcome to the 10 minute tutorial for research. My name is Gautam Nistala. I work in the AWS higher education research team. My name is Steve Fu. I'm a senior solution architect on Academic Medical Center, focusing on higher education research. Today, we are going to talk about using Omero on AWS for research. The Open Microscopy Environment Consortium, also called OME, develops open source software and format standards for microscopy data. The OME Remote Objects, also known as Omero, is an open source image data management platform. Deploying Omero on AWS allows you to access your image data in a secure central repository with the elasticity of the cloud. Omero has a web interface facilitating data access and visualization, and it also supports the connection through Omero's client or other image analysis tools like Cell Profiler, QPath, Fiji, ImageJ, and so on. It was designed to support the digital pathology, cellular biology, and other biological domains that use microscopy. Typical uses of Omero include histopathology, high content screening, electron microscopy, and even non-image genotype data. Let us learn a little bit more about Omero. Researchers can view, organize, import, analyze, share, and publish data from a central repository. Omero supports over 140 image file formats, including all major microscope formats. Omero is currently used in hundreds of institutions worldwide. Extensive installation and configuration documentation is available for system administrators. All the image data from facilities can be stored and managed using grouping permissions and user roles to allow controlled access based on your institutional needs. Omero is used in many imaging, research imaging and microscopy laboratories worldwide. Imaging research could generate significant amount of data. Let us go through an example. In this scenario, the experiment involves a light sheet fluorescence microscopy with a four megapixel CMOS camera. A single image would generate a nine MB image file. When you add three channels, the image size is about 10, 27 MB. Adding 10 planes, 10 time points, and 10 different image locations bring this up to 27 gigabytes. You can see how a single experiment can generate a lot of data. As a researcher or an imaging core manager, you would probably want to store hundreds of such data sets for the length of your research project and also for long-term uh, storage of your data. Image data lifecycle management is an important consideration for many researchers. Let us talk about a few other considerations. The first one is data generation and management. Core imaging facilities, they often host various microscopes like wide field, confocal microscopes, electron microscopes, light sheet, fluorescence, and each of these generate images of different file formats and different sizes. Accessing and managing multimodal imaging data is often a challenge. Now let's talk about data transfer and analysis. Once the data is generated, researchers transfer the data from the centralized facility to the research environment. Typically, this is done via disks and drives. For analysis, some core facilities provide access to high-end workstations, and researchers typically use open-source software packages for reconstruction, deconvolving, and predicting other uh, and using uh, image data in other formats. Finally, researchers are often going back to older image datasets to train new AIML algorithms and for additional insights. It is important to consider long-term storage options for imaging data generated from very expensive experiments. Here's how you access Omero on AWS. GitHub repositories are available for various reference architectures for Omero. On the AWS side, an AWS account is required, and on the Omero side, there are no specific requirements for access. Optionally, if researchers would like a custom domain on AWS to access Omero, they would need a custom domain on AWS Route 53 service. Now I will pass the baton to my colleague Steve Fu to demonstrate Omero on AWS. Thank you, Gautam. So here's the uh, high-level overview of the Omero architecture on AWS. At the first glance, it's a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry. Let us deep dive the AWS services used for this solution. On the left, within the AWS Virtual Private Cloud, our VPC, we will use AWS resources for Omero stack through one-click CloudFormation deployment, including the VPC network infrastructure, application load balancer, Elastic Container Service, Elastic File System, RDS database instance, and so on. Omera Stack is a typical three-tier web application. AWS Elastic Container Service, or ECS, 
is a fully managed container orchestration service that helps you easily deploy, manage, and scale containerized Omera server and web application. We use the application load balancer handle health check and TLS termination. We also use the network attached storage for image pixel data. Amazon Elective File System, or EFS, provides a simple serverless set and forget file system that lets you scale your storage on demand to petabytes without disrupting application. On the right side, you can see there are multiple options to manage data import and processing. You can upload image data to Amazon Simple Storage Service, or S3, first, and then synchronize to EFS, or directly upload to EFS. Once data in EFS, you can run Omera client command line or import data to, into Omera server, or you can use Omera Insight, a Java-based desktop application, to import data directly into Omera server from Amazon S3. Next, let, let us work through how does it look like using AWS tools, manage Omera and the data management. Now you can see my desktop. This is the AWS console. I already deployed Omera on AWS using CloudFormation. And uh, you can see there are a couple of stacks have been created, one for Omera Network, one for Omera Stack. This stack has nasty stack for Omera Storage and the container service. In the container service, you will be able to go to the ECS cluster. And after you deploy, you will be able to access the Omera web, uh, web portal here. So I'm using the default login to log in Omera, and Omera web provides you a couple of functionality to work through the data and the visualization. I'm not going to detail uh, on Omera web. Let's look at the other AWS tool you can interact with Omera. The first one is uh, AWS Cloud Shell, a cloud-based shell environment let you run script in the container. So I have a Cloud Shell script. I can copy and paste here. So this script is a new AWS ECS feature let you execute command within the container. All you need would be the ECS cluster name and task ID. Now I'm within the Omera server container and I can see the file here. I can also see the file system, the EFS mounted to this folder. From here, I can run Omera client command line to import file into Omera server. Next, I'm going to work you through the app stream. Amazon app stream lets you to virtualize all the desktop application and make it available through a browser. So right now I'm using the I'm running the Omera inside the desktop application on AppStream. I can log in here. And this AppStream also has the S3 backed home folder. So the home folder you can see here is actually a S3 bucket. I can upload the file here and let the Omera inside to upload the file directly into Omera. So I can drag and drop the file. This is my local, as you can see on the right, this is my local laptop. I can drag the file into the S3 folder. Upload Once the file upload there, I can use Omera inside to load them into Omera server directly. So with that, I would like to conclude our presentation. If you want to learn more about Omera deployment on AWS, please find the information below the video. Thank you. Bye.